Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Mainskill. So I thought I'd just show you that they have now started with the new farmyard. So I've shown you where we were going to put it. I showed you a bit when we were marking out and that. Um, so here it is. This is the shed now. They've started putting it up. So as you can see here, they started putting the legs up. So the stanchions up this side. There we go. So they've gone up now. So this is going to be the cattle shed. So this is the side of it here. So that's the edge of the cattle shed. But if you look at them there, you can see that's them legs up there. That's 18 foot to the eaves. So the eaves is where it then starts to kick up to the roof. But on the other side, they're 32 foot to the eaves. So what it is, is this roof is going to go up here and then come back down to there, that on that one. Like that. So that'll mark up there. And then what that does is that leaves us, this leg stuck up in the air, right up there. And then what we'll do is we'll put a roof off that one, going that way, over, and putting a silage clamp up over there. So we'll have that to do as well. But it's looking good so far. So this is a building from SNA. So SNA Building Fabricators, they're at Barnard Castle. So uh, they've done a few things for us. So They've done the old shop, uh, the last shop extension we've done. They've done the muck shed that we've just put up like this year as well. Uh, they've done this one. Uh, they've done a few different ones for us now. So they're nice and handy. They're only at Barnard Castle, so it's not far away at all. Just up the A66. And um, yeah, so we've had quite a few of them now. So that's what it's looking like. So you can see now it's starting to show when it was just a square on the floor when it was just a dug off area it didn't look as big but now the legs are going up you can see again now that it's actually going to be quite a good size shed so if I flip you around you can see here, here it goes all the way down there so quite a few legs so you can either go for 15 foot bays or 20 foot bays so uh, 20 foot means less steel but 15 foot we got told is better for a cattle shed because it's just easier to make everything fit so when you want to put your gates in your pens in and everything everything's better working with a 15 foot rather than a 20 foot one ending up with bigger gates and stuff that's more hard work so that's what that is um, so you can see where i'm stood now so we've got it dug off and what it is is this here will be a feed passage so there'll be a feed barrier there for the cows to put their heads through and eat on this side and same on that side so this is a raised feed passage so that the cows don't have to bend down as bad and then where the stone is now that is where the uh, cows will so there'll be a strip down here which is concrete where they eat and then the bit of the back will be bedded up and that's where they'll um, get bedded up and that's where they'll sleep so it'll be good it'll be a good big shed um, we're going to be doing some pens and that with IAE hopefully we're going to be sorting out what we're putting in so they're going to be coming and uh, this is going to be for the suckler cows, this shed mainly, so they're all going to fit in this shed. Um, so we'll be able to get some carving pens in, as well as all the gates to split it down into pens, so I can have pens with me, ones that are nearest to carving at one end, and then the ones that are further away, just leaving them mixed in with the big group and that. So that'll be handier. But just wanted to show you what's going on, so it's looking good. I was going to show you them lifting the next leg up, but it looks like they've gone through a brew, all of them. You see there's plenty of steel lying around, plenty to go at yet, and it's looking good. Right, thanks for watching, see you later. <laughs> right, so I showed you yesterday that they got the legs up. Today they're on, we're getting the top up. So you can see now, they're lifting them up there, they're getting them up. So it's a clear span build in this. So what that means is rather than having supporting legs, uh, some sheds have them there and there, so like two thirds of the way, so it's split into three. Rather than having them legs in here, we've uh, gone for a clear span building. So all it means is it's bigger steel, but it's, uh, it hasn't got the legs. So uh, when we're mucking it out, when Matthew's mucking out and Ian, they're not going to back into everything and bend everything on the load all. So the crane's here today. Here he is, so it's a good sized one, not too bad, and they're getting them lifted in, so you can see now, here we go, we got a smiler, you can see now, 
that the shed is starting to take shape. So it's looking well, it's looking big. It's going to be good. Plenty of room for the cattle. So you can see there, he's lifting it up with the crane. There it is. Getting it lifted up. And then they've got a cherry picker on either side. These lads are holding ropes on either side to keep it where they want as they lift it. And then they'll fasten it on, they'll get the bolts in, fasten it on with the impact gun and get it held in. So like I said yesterday, they're 18 foot to the eaves. So that's it there, up to the corner. But on this side, the legs are 32 foot long. So it only goes part way up. It's looking good, just starting to give you a bit of an idea now of how big it'll be. <laughs> so there we go. As you can see, it's going to be a bit of a beauty. So this one here, them legs there to make a 32 foot to the eaves silage clamp, 120 foot long there. And then on the other side of that, there'll be another cattle shed, which will be 100 foot wide, same as this, by 180 foot long. So it's looking well. He's just coming across with some timbers now as well. So they get the bolts on either side. That secures it there. But just to make sure it can't pull either way, you get the timbers fastened up there as well. They just put a few in to hold it to start with. But you can see on each of them brackets, that's where the timbers will go. And then once them timbers are up, that's what they can fix the roof to and fix the skylights to. So they'll get all the roof fixed in. There you go, it's looking well. That's what's going on today at Main Street. I'm going to let these crack on. I'm going to go and combine some spring weight. Good, good. So me and Dad have just come through here now to have a look at the shed. So we finished combining the beans, so we've just done them and we've come for a look. As you can see, it's looking good now. So they've got all the purlins in. So they're getting all them in. So that's what you'll fasten the roof to, to hold the roof down. So that'll fasten onto that. Uh, one's on the side as well for the Yorkshire boarding. So there'll be concrete panels and then Yorkshire boarding down there. So they're getting that sorted. And it looks like they've just fetched a piece of guttering up just to see how it sits. So you see there, it gives you a bit of an idea. There's gonna be a valley gutter coming all the way down here so a big valley because it's a big roof so lots of water so big valley gutter going down there to get hold of it but it's looking good it's altering fast uh, it's going to be a good big shed be all right won't it dad spot on spot on there you go are you happy very happy very happy there you go it's not like him <laughs> see you later